I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. It seems that the DJI Spark is hanging out with Ferraris a lot lately on YouTube, and this video is no exception because we got to hang out with Team Ferrari yesterday at Portland International Speedway to do our little mini review of the new DJI Spark, hanging out with some of the hottest racers in the world. Team Ferrari, check it out. Apparently the quad had to slow down for the Ferrari, but we know who can really win this race. We know. We know who can really win the race. Ferrari. So that was the first time I flew the DJI Spark along with race drones and Team Ferrari out of the Portland International Speedway and that was a lot of fun. This thing is really pretty easy to fly. So I've seen some mixed reviews versus the Mavic and the DJI Spark but there's really not a whole lot of comparison here. I mean honestly technically this one is far superior. Uh, if you just want to look at the difference in the video and decide whether you want to spend an extra $500 for something that shoots full 4k then go for something like this for a completely professional. If you're a photographer or somebody who needs high-end video and you have absolutely have 4k then go for something like this uh, if you need something that is just going to be for fun and for maybe for a short vacation uh, or a hike or a weekend getaway that's totally acceptable for someone that's just not really into flying drones uh, it was super easy to fly it held its spot in GPS and it didn't do a lot of wandering plus the profile on this one is super super small when you're flying it no one really notices uh, but it is it is a little bit noisy it does kind of sound like a pack of bumblebees. It has returned to home if you fly out of range. Uh, even though it has Wi-Fi on there, don't worry. It has GPS return to home and land uh, on its original location. I've seen some other people talking about, oh, don't fly out of the Wi-Fi range because you'll lose it. Uh, not quite, because it's actually made to return to home if it flies out of range. It automatically detects that it lost signal and it'll turn around, stop what it's doing, come back and land. So uh, you don't want to rely on that totally. 
but it is a feature. Now, one of the things that I'm not super excited about with this quad is the fact that it does have a two axis gimbal. So when I'm doing my pans left and right, uh, you can see that I couldn't quite turn the quad fast enough. If you put it in sport mode, if you have the remote controller, if you get that package, you'll be able to turn it a little quicker in sport mode. But the way it comes out of the box, it kind of turns a little bit slow for me. So I wish this would turn a little bit faster, especially when I'm trying to film a Ferrari going by at a hundred and some miles an hour. It makes it a little bit difficult if you're filming race cars, but for any other type of vacation or action shot, you can probably do just fine with the DJI Spark. Now, my only other beef with this little guy is the fact that the battery only lasts for about 12 minutes. Uh, they say it lasts for 16 minutes, but I was getting respectively 12 minutes with this before it wanted to come back and land. Uh, it will go into an automatic return to home and land when you get down to default of 30% in this battery. Now, also what I thought was pretty cool, this is the, one of the first quads from DJI that you can charge with an Android cable. So if you lift this little tab up back here, you can see the micro SD card slot right there. And next to it's the USB port for charging directly to the battery. Uh, and you'll see these little LEDs light up. It takes a little over an hour to charge that battery. So that about sums it up for a mini review of the DJI Spark. I think it did great out at the racetrack. And I uh, just want to say special thanks to Portland International Speedway, Team Ferrari, Seattle Multirotor, and Pro Racing League. Uh, Ken Allison made this possible. So thank you, Ken. It was an awesome day out at the track. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching some DJI Spark footage and some Ferraris racing racer quads. Pretty awesome day. Thanks again for watching, you guys. I'm Justin Davis. I'll see you on the next one.